Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we will be discussing add the right value annotation. So guys, this is the 11th video on of our ongoing Spring Boot for interview series. If you are a beginner in Spring Boot or you are preparing for the interviews for Spring Boot, then this playlist will be very much beneficial for you because we have like covered around 10 annotations till now. We are slowly, slowly moving towards advanced annotations. So if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it and do watch all the annotations discussed till now as they are very much important and they are the backbone of Spring Boot. Okay. So if you have like seen all the like 10 or 11 videos, three to four more videos in this particular series is remaining, then 50% of your work in Spring Boot is done. After that, what I am planning, I am planning to start a, uh, a project based uh, series of Spring Boot. Okay. So if you are not subscribed to this channel till now, please subscribe it because every day you are you will be getting notifications on new new videos that we will be making. So make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as like the video because it gives me motivation. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, the add the rate value annotation. The add the rate value annotation in Spring is a way to inject values into, you, into your Spring beings directly from the property files, environment variables or the other configuration sources. So for example, see, we are, uh, we are in a uh, class where there is a variable name app name and we are like we need to provide this app name not from like any other sources but from our property file so we can use add the rate value annotation here now i hope this thing is clear to you if we want to inject any of the values inside the variables of our bean or our or for our object then we can use add the value annotation okay so let's just move towards the editor for further understanding okay so this is our student class we know that the, the fields inside the student class are id and name now when we want that okay so when we are getting the object of the student class by spring we want that name should be default what should be the name let's suppose we want that name should always be code so whenever we are getting the object of the student class from the spring we want that inside that object the name field should always contain the value of code so for that what we can do we can provide you can use here added value annotation okay and inside that value annotation, we can give name as code. So this is a static name that we want that whenever a student object is formed, we the name field here inside that is code. Okay, now let's just test it. So what we are doing inside uh, we have our application context. We know that application context contains all the beans or all the objects. So we can ask our application context okay, to give us the bean with the name. Uh, what is the name of that class student? Okay, student dot class. Okay. And what it will return, it will return the object of that student, student, okay. And let's just say here we want our ID also that it should, the ID should also be one. So at the rate ID, oh sorry, not. So again, our ID value should also be one. So let's just give our ID value as one here, okay. So now what we'll do, let's just simply print our student class. So system dot out dot print ln and we will just print student okay student class we will be printing now let's just do nothing just simply run the okay so the application is running and you can see here that we have got the student object here and the with the id one and with the name code so let's just change first of all let's just change here id let's just give us six and name should be code bashers okay let's just run it so that you are sure that it is not like coming from anywhere else it is coming from right here so now the value will be six and name will be code basher so you can see here we are getting the student object with the id six and code bashers. so it means that if we want that our student object uh, some fields in the in our uh, class should always contain a default value then we can use like this that at that value we can give the value of that field and whenever the spring will give us the object it for that value uh, for that field the value will be set this is one way of for using the value annotation now there is another way so let's suppose we define some values okay we define some values in our property file that is application.yml file it can be your application.properties file also but i am using application.yml it's just the difference of syntax nothing else i want that i will give here a let's just suppose field name i am giving here field name is okay app uh, in app we are using like uh, what was that name so app name not app let's just uh, give a student okay let's just use student here student okay in they in that we are using okay student name 
and the name is code pashers okay this is the name and that student id is one now we want to use these values at that places so again we'll using the add that value notation and but inside that will not give us the default value let like we were giving six so for id what will be doing we will be using a dollar sign here okay uh dollar sign okay dollar and we will be giving the field name from the property file what will the field name student common student dot name sorry student dot id so this is the field name student dot id okay this is the field name uh, this is the value that will be injected in this id similarly in the name field what we will do we will give the <coughs> name of the field from the property files yaml file so dollar student dot name okay now what we have given there so id we have given one let's just give us nine and the uh, name is code bashers okay so let's just give code bash okay let's just now run it and let's just see what happens so it should pick the values from this particular property file now okay so you can see here the object that has been turned by now uh spring it has the id as nine and name as code bashers so by here we have confirmed that if we want to give default values to a particular field that every time an object is formed those field values should be default it should remain same then also we can use add that value notation as well as if we have defined some of the field we want that some of the field values should be coming from the property files and not like we are just giving the default value if we want that it should be coming from property file then also we can uh, define them in the yaml files and using these key key names what we told them we call them key value pairs and using this key inside that value annotation using the dollar sign we can fetch the values of these keys from the property files so i hope now the use of add that value annotation is clear to you if you have faced any doubt till now in entire series you can always write in the comment section please share this video among your friends i need more and more support to continue these type of series thank you for watching this video